Hello everyone and welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. Today I want to tell you about a very nice variety show which you can find on social media. This variety show was aired on American television from January 1976 to May 1979, and it's called The Donnie and Marie Show. The show starred brother and sister pop duo Donnie and Marie Osmond. A duo just means two people acting together, Batman and Robin, or a crime-fighting duo. Donny Osmond and his sister Marie Osmond are a singing duo. Donny had first become popular singing in a music group with his brothers. That was called the Osmonds. And Marie was one of the youngest singers to reach number one with her song Paper Roses in 1973. The siblings were offered a weekly show by an American company, a broadcaster called ABC. Initially, he wanted them to co-host a week on a popular chat show, and that eventually led them to having their own show. They were the youngest entertainers in TV history to own their own variety show. Donnie and Marie was a Friday night show that consisted of ice skating, comedy sketches, followed by songs performed by them, and sometimes their famous brothers would pop in and say hello. It was a very nice show, and Donnie and Marie would have their own way of opening and closing it. Their usual closing song was one called May Tomorrow Be a Perfect Day. Perhaps you can find it on social media. Certainly the show has been repeated many, many times, and they did try to remake it some years ago. Marie Osmond in concert is a music concert that she gave recently. You can find that free on BYU Television, which is a free app online. The show's popularity declined in its final two seasons after it was revealed that Donnie was dating and he eventually got married. He was very popular with the young ladies because of his good looks, his dark hair and very, very white, large teeth. According to VH1, you know, the music channel, many female viewers were upset because Donnie was getting married. Finally, they changed the name so that other brothers could participate. The show was retitled The Osmond Family Show, and it was moved from Friday night to another time, which was less popular. They tried to bring it back again in 1980 and 1981. This was with Marie with a fashion makeover in her own solo variety series, which was simply called Marie rather than Donnie and Marie. Donnie and Marie did get together again, though, in 1998 to co-host Donnie and Marie which was also known as the Donnie and Marie Hour. There's a lot of merchandise out there about Donnie and Marie, including toy microphones, pictures, 
and the little TV studio for kids. Originally, the show was created by Sid and Marty Croft and made in Los Angeles. Um, but creative control of the show was eventually given to the Osmonds after they had a long battle with the producers and finally it was moved to the Osmond Studios, known as the Osmond Entertainment Center. If you want to know more about Donnie and Marie, you can find out loads about them on the internet. They're still very, very famous and well-loved amongst English-speaking people. That's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed this. Let's talk soon. Bye.